that here is the brief. I hope that set up. And now we're at 1542. Um, so this is going to be a real quick presentation. All right. So first and foremost, I've been I re-engaged with, with Livia Kutsia of DHQ and Henk Murray from Connect Architects, both judges on the panel. And I think both judges who, after the the, the, the awards, came to me and, and, and sort of spoke about, like, what can we do to, to step this up? To, you know, kind of get, a, get an, a, 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 a result we can all be, all of us, lecturers, students, PG judges, all be happy with. And, and let's, let's see what we can what we can do with this brief and, and make it a little bit exciting and, and fun. So Desert Oasis, haha, working title, you will, we will kind of zhuzh that up, but for now we're going to just refer to it as the Desert Oasis. So as an intro, and I've got this fully typed up, so I've kind of slashed this to down so that it, it just gets you the, the, the basic idea, you know what we're talking about, but I will email you the, the full document and you can read it at your leisure, but for now, this was actually inspired by something that I saw two or three weeks back when I was in Cape Town. The, the, the setup of, of, of where we're going with what the brief is, something that, that kind of hit me and I thought that could make an interesting brief. But as we know, social media is a part of millions of people's lives every day. Everyone's hooked into the stuff, you know, checking it out and all that. And even us as PG, we're constantly on this hamster wheel of like creating new content. You know, we've got to keep people engaged and what are we going to post next? And so that that's that's sort of a lot of people's lives is keeping your followers happy. And, and what do you do? Where, where do you go and what do you look for? So it requires this constant stream of new content and people looking out for, for visually interesting things and where can they go and take photos of themselves and, and all of that. That's that's the sort of setup of, of, of where we're going. So context to the brief this is the, the the premise the story that we've 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 come up with is we have this wealthy content creator and I, I'm, I'm horrified being the age i am when i hear what some youtubers earn and you just think wow <laughs> when my niece says she wants to be a youtuber i'm like well you should go for it because clearly if you do it properly you can earn a lot of money um but wealthy content creator using social media revenue investing in properties. And, and this is actually something I saw. We were doing a, a photo shoot in Cape Town. And one of the properties, one of the locations we'd found was that where a, a woman, all she does is she takes properties and she rents them out to film crews and camera crews and still photography crews and makes a living out of that. So I thought that's a cool, cool idea. Um, so she wants visually appealing architectural and design features to rent out to these film and still photography crews and other content creators. And the idea is that her next place, she wants to create a desert oasis. She wants to create something. There's a gap in the market. Like, how can you how can you go and create something out in the desert where where people can go and generate content? Okay, so that is the the the, the story behind it. So the client wants the designer, the student, to design her dream de de I'm gonna say desert. Yeah, desert oasis, a luxury residence entertainment areas, landscape grounds. That is the, the 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 sort of space that we're going to be looking at out there. Now, here's where it gets, here's all the meat of it. The design proposal must celebrate the basic human needs of eating, sleeping, bathing, and socializing using the four elements of fire, water, earth, and air. So any which way you want to celebrate those basic needs, that's the way you do it, of using the, the elements to, to celebrate that. The overarching requirement, including the landscaping, needs to be photogenic. It has to be Instagrammable. You know that, and I, this comes out of one of the conversations I was having with the other judge. Design hotels and restaurants. They have to keep thinking like, what's the Instagrammable moment? What are people going to take a picture of themselves at and sort of almost create that uh, buzz around the hotel or buzz around the restaurant? So, so what is that thing? So that's this. This is about what's the experience and how do you share that experience with your followers? So what do you actually what what can they capture and then use that on on to create more content? Provide multiple spaces that form a cohesive whole, uh, yet work as distinct and separate areas. This is a practical requirement. When we look at locations to shoot for kitchens and bathrooms and bedrooms, we needed to almost feel like 
one house yet different parts. So so you don't kind of go, oh yeah, I've already seen that. You need it to kind of work as different parts, but it has to still create some cohesive whole. And then in terms of uh, creating those spaces that are, are easily changeable, and this can come in any which way you like, but how do you make sure that the idea is that it, you can keep using the spaces over and over and they don't become a little bit stale? You know, that's the, the, the thinking there. This is to offer her clients the potential to, op to, to sort of maximize their investment and time. And this is just to build up the story that if you're going to go and shoot there, you want to be able to shoot as many locations as you can in, in one space and maximize your, your money spent on the, the film crew or the, the still photography crew. So the three elements, fire, earth, and air, they're easy to identify with a dry landscape, with a desert. You know, that, that makes sense. Heat and ground and hot air, fun. But to create something unique, she wants to incorporate water as a key feature. So the water element must be used in at least three applications. And one of the applications must be outside. And one of the applications must be the movement of water. So that's really about, you can do anything you want. They're free to decide. Whatever form that water takes, that, that's where they can go wild and, and do whatever they want. But given local conditions being a desert, consideration has to be given to clever and responsible use of water. So you're not going to build a, an Olympic-sized pool necessarily because it'll evaporate within half a day. But what else could you do with water that kind of creates a unique feature but is still responsible? The design must stimulate all senses, visual, olfactory, auditory, tactile, and gustatory. So that's the, the, the one thing they must do. And then include a minimum of three bedrooms and three full bathrooms in the design. That's just to give some level of you creating experiences. So and and you we we're celebrating sleep, eating, socializing, bathing. So what are those spaces and how how do you create content in the and not that kind of content? I have to just stop you all there. But you know when 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 we're looking for bedroom pictures and things like that, the, the, you know people getting ready to go out. Th those are the sort of things. Those are real world considerations is how do we create content in those spaces? And then giving your location an appropriate name that speaks to the design thread you've pulled through the space. That's the requirements there. The location, we are talking about a farmhouse that is located on the R355. If anyone knows that, it's out near the Tangwa Karoo National Park, Pilvinia. Um, it is kind of close to where Africa burn happens. So it is out in the middle of, of nowhere. Um, the, the national parks there, it's, it's quite a dry, arid condition. Um, and, and that's the, the location of this. We will provide a farmhouse. Um, that is definitely going to be the anchor point. So we will we'll get the, the farmhouse, get the, the drawings for that. That's, and the idea is that the farmhouse, to some degree, must be utilized in the design. But it's not to contain the design within the farmhouse. It's just really saying, here's what you've got on the property. How do you incorporate that and how do you go from there? Okay, so that's that's the thing. And in considering your celebration of the elements, fire, water, earth, and air, you won't be limited to a single story. We're not saying do double story or triple story, or we're just saying when celebrating these things, if you feel like you need to build a, a vantage point, a, a lookout point, an, an elevated, you know, elevating a room or whatever, let's it's free. It's there's no there's nothing to say. You have to stick to a a single story. And, and this was one of the things that I wanted to put forward with the with, with Livia and with Hank. When we start saying you can only go single story, it kind of cuts things off, you know. So we're not saying single. We're not saying double. We're just saying use the space, go wherever you want to go. And then of course consider that the site is fully serviced. Now, you don't have to worry about. Uh, electricity, don't worry about, about reusing water. It's considered just serviced for the sake of the brief, but it's more about the design aesthetic and the experience of, of the space. Uh, requirements, all of the above to be demonstrated, of course. Um, we also think that what we'd like to ask for is that there are renders, hand-drawn or computer-generated renders of the Instagrammable spaces to accurately highlight the design. Sometimes the, the layouts that we get, I think that they, they've got good thoughts, but we don't always get a good sense of the space. You know, you kind of have to really dig into the, the, the plan views and things like that. Um, so we're just saying, let's, let's kind of just include a few good renders 
so that we get a sense of what what you would you'd be looking at uh, from from a from a sort of a what's the right word not aspect but you know what I mean that's that's where we need to go and then from a product point of view of course we have to include PG bus and I've limited it to three product ranges super matte super gloss and super texture that's all they have to pick from it's that's the only colors they need to look at and it's just got to be used in the kitchen and the bedroom that's it there's no other need to do anything else with it just apply it in the kitchens and bedrooms and we're we're good to go there and I think in terms of visual and, and experiential they all work very well the one bounce light the one subdues light um so so quite happy with with that in the the brief closing date is the 18th of august next year and prize money stays exactly the same 50,000 for the winner 50,000 for the lecturer 25 10 and 2004 for all the other seven uh, top 10 finalists 